what's going on my peoples and we back so welcome back to the channel man hey man right now sitting here working on this ss give y'all kind of like a rundown of what's been going on with it man and it hasn't been good because guess what it's back on the jack stands you did so not too much of a crazy situation other than it won't start <laughs> so like literally man um i drove it one day came back to the house next day i'm getting this click every time i turn on the car i can turn it on the on position everything in the inside would light up it would chime like it's ready to fire up and then time i turn the key to try to start it it clicked like it was the dead battery so guess what i did i went i bought a brand new battery uh this is actually the battery out the malibu first i stole a battery out the malibu tested it out everything worked everything was fine it started up again next day same thing and i know this battery good i keep it on the charger so then i said you know what maybe this battery ain't got enough juice i'm gonna go and buy me another battery so i went ahead bought a whole new battery which is it's kind of maintaining on the on the tender um put it in same situation happened now i'm already 200 dollars in the hole on a battery because these big batteries they cost a lot speaking of batteries man i just want to let y'all know these numbers on these batteries they make sense you know what i mean these numbers are here for a reason you know what i mean uh cold cranking amps cranking amps i always like to get a thousand cranking amps uh, 800 cold cranking amps this is like one of the biggest batteries that you can find um for my cars it's they just better they last longer uh and then the power you know what i mean these amps make a difference but anyway we're gonna get back to the store so i went and bought that put it in same situation 200 dollars down in the hole now i gotta figure something out uh then i started doing some research pulled out the handy book pulled out the handy book kind of went over the diagram to see what's up for 86 on up and they got these right here the fusible links because guess what was happening power wasn't coming inside the car the way i needed to eventually it just completely died died no power no nothing so i'm like all right i'm not getting no power inside the car that lets me know fusible links are down so in order to test that theory i hooked everything up i started jiggling on the wires and sure enough chimes and stuff start coming on the inside so yeah fusible links are gone so we're gonna do away with the fusible links and I'm, i got a whole new way i want to wire it up i end up buying some inland uh, inland fuses but it's going to be on a fuse box i'm going to pl place a fuse box on the back side there and we're going to wire it into that that way i ain't got to be you know taking starters down and all that good stuff just to get to these and you know be cutting wires all the time i'll just be able to pull a fuse out the back so that's what we're going to do today that's what we're going to knock out but before we get started, you already know what you got to do for your boy. You got to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Definitely smash that notification bell. That way you can stay alert to all of the drops. You did, so. This little nifty box just came in through Amazon. You know what I mean? I like the way it looked too, man. You know so, um, Some fuses. Supposed to be some screws on. Some terminals. these screws and some pan head screws so um, and so basically man and I'll make sure I put this put a link of this in the description man um, pretty cheap little item seven eight dollars you can't beat it and what's gonna end up happening is this is gonna take the place of those fusible links we're gonna throw a couple 30 amps in it and look at the wires uh, that's on this car um, Kind of did my own little research found out that these fusible links or this gauge wire typically to manage is about a, a max of 30 amps so we're gonna stick a 30 amp fuse in these um, 
And these wires, we're going to get rid of these. I'm going to clean this up. So we're going to cut it way back there yonder. Way back there yonder. And we're going to run all new red wires. This wire we're going to do away with completely. So that'll be no longer. Uh, so it's just going to be these two. And the third being the ignition wire. Starter wire. So we're not going to cut any of that. We're just going to leave that. We're going to let that be. We're going to let that be. But we're going to get this cleaned up. Yeah. I think I'm going to mount this thing, man. Let me see. Because the box got a little clear cover on it. It's actually a pretty thick little box. So I'm thinking about mounting it somewhere like around here. Yeah, I think I'm going to mount it right there. I'm going to run them wires through there. Run them back on that outside. And that's going to be that. You did. placement right there i'm gonna clean all this back up man i'm scratching this shit everywhere but that's gonna be my placement of this so we're gonna tap these two at the top here gotta cut them at at the terminals and then we go to run it back out on the other side at terminals slide it on like this so I think we got all the terminals we need. Yes, we do. So that's going to be easy, though. So let's go on and make this cut real quick. I'm going to add that in. And we should be good to go. So stay tuned. So got this thing cleaned up, man. As you can see, right now I'm just kind of organizing the wires. So I can put my wire loom on. You know what I mean? Oh, this going to be fire. It's going to be better than what it was before. You know what I mean? Got my little tape and stuff easy came around here here go all my little starter hookups you know what i'm saying loomed up ready to go oh look at that fresh new wire oh yeah so i'm gonna stop right here man because i don't feel like getting up under that car granted it's probably gonna be a five minute hookup i just don't feel like getting down there y'all so i'm gonna have to come back to y'all tomorrow on this hopefully this gonna do the trick um, which I'm pretty sure it is. And we're gonna get this thing fired up back on the road, you did, so stay tuned. Alright, man, so moment of truth. I'm about to clean up all this stuff real quick. Get all this stuff out of the way. Man, man, man. Um so everything's hooked back up. I was gonna wait till tomorrow, but I had already started cleaning up all the wires and all this good stuff, and then I was like, you know what? 
ain't really no need. So I'm gonna knock it out and then I can do my zip ties in place tomorrow. If we got power in the inside, we already one step above. And I ain't gonna let it run too long because I don't want nothing. I don't want the, uh, what you call it? What do you call it? thing? Oh, let me go put this back in place. I don't want the wire loom to burn because uh, there is a small little piece up against the headers. So I had all this kind of like pinned up to the side. I had it pinned. So we're just going to see what's happening. That is my charger. I'm going to take that off. Got rid of the, uh, what do you call them? The link fuses, the fusible links. You know what I mean? Let me be correct on that. So got rid of that, tapped it into a small little fuse box, and uh, we're back on the game. We're back on the money. Everything good. Now, so. These cars, man, these cars be something you did. So, uh, oh, I'm gonna put a little light on you, boy. Yeah, so, these cars, my, my lips dry in the mud right now. All this working, no drinking. But, uh, yeah, they definitely something. Um, I'm glad that I was able to kind of like figure that out. So now that we got that 100%, we good to go. You know what I mean? And I'm finna go and take a shower. I done got some of that little fiberglass stuff on me from them header wraps. And uh, I'm itching like a mug, you did. So, with that being said, man, hey, stay.
stay tuned to the next vid. I appreciate y'all tapping in and keeping it 100 with your butt. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. You did. So we're going to keep this action going. You did. So stay tuned.